Hello, this is Porador Exia. Some people pronounce it Asia. Um, these cars are built on the Toyota Agya platform. However, there are quite a lot of cosmetic changes, especially to the facial design. Now, this particular car is a special edition model. When they were first launched in 2014, there were actually two designs. This face is only reserved for the special edition and the advanced model. It used to have this side skirt here, um, but they were ripped off by a horrible thief. Until now, I have not replaced them because I'm a bit worried that they will get ripped off again because it's not secure, even if you put them back. Not sure how long it can last. Now, when I first saw this car, I was really in love with the design. I'm, I'm not really a fan of big grills, but I have to admit that this huge grill does go very well with this design i think this is one of the most beautiful cars i've ever seen and it still remains my favorite look until today they may look quite small from the outside but it's got a very reasonable amount of boot space in this car interior design of this car looks very pleasant to me i like the design inside however the materials used in this car are not that great the plastic used is all hard plastic but not just hard plastic they are very cheap very scratchy the steering wheel is a little sticky even and uh, they don't seem to age very well you can see a lot of scratches and mark on them now, when this car was launched in late 2014 it became the best selling cars in Malaysia it stole the crown from my way it was one of the most beautiful cars there's no question in it they sold like hot cakes However, these were not the best option at that time. There's so many other models that came out to compete with these cars. We had Korean cars, we had Proton, Iris and others as well. But the sales of this car exceeded any other models. Now, one of the biggest reasons why people buy Axia because they want a peace of mind. This car comes with a 1-litre, 3-cylinder, naturally aspirated engine paired with 4-speed automatic transmission. And they are pretty much bulletproof. This engine is built by Daihatsu and Daihatsu specializes in micro cars. They build very small engines and they make very good engines. And overall, the engines tend to last forever. So that is the biggest reason why people like Axia people like Porador because they are reliable there's no question in it the materials used in the car are not that great a lot of these hard plastics don't hold up very well it's scratchy the seat adjustments here um, they, they tend to fall off they break easily and it, they can be quite annoying as well now when this car came out uh, Porto was boasting that this is the first EEV, what it means, uh, energy efficient vehicle. So Porto went all out on saving fuel. They tuned this car to be very economical on fuel. And because of that, it is really sluggish driving this car. Acceleration is not that great. And it's probably one of the things that I didn't quite like is the acceleration however you drive this in the city um, it does okay maneuvering around traffic um, you can get to places here and there very comfortably no problem and um, you can keep up with traffic not an issue but as soon as you get on highway you start accelerating and it's slow so you have to be a little careful with this car in fact, if this car could have a little bit better acceleration, I think uh, you would really enjoy driving this car because it's small, it's very easy to maneuver around. It handles quite well. Uh, the steering wheel is a little stiff. It doesn't feel as light as the My Way. Uh, but again, it's a small car, not a big deal. And see what it's like when I floor the car. <laughs> it takes forever to take off now it's 80 kilometers per hour yeah it does take some time for it to pick up speed and i'm driving alone if you have like uh, two or three other passengers in the car it's even more sluggish um 
what happened is that the acceleration of this car is controlled by the computer module and uh, they want to be very economical on fuel so you can't really abuse the car it doesn't matter what kind of driving behavior you are you can floor the car all the time but it will not um, accelerate the way you wish and uh, the RPM will not rave up as fast as you want so the computer will make sure that you can't abuse the car so if you need a car to drive just in the city I think this is probably a perfect choice if you know me I focus on reliable cars cars that have the best value with the least problem I hate cars that break down I hate cars that get thrown away after some time I want cars that last forever I want cars to be a treasure you know something um, that you could keep as long as you wish something that you could always look back you have good memories with it I mean when a car breaks down my heart starts racing and I don't like that kind of feeling uh, I want cars that give me a peace of mind now this car has got about 60,000 kilometers and everything is still in great condition the engine is purring like a cat um, transmission is still very solid no issue at all and no leaking everything has been in great condition and nothing has been uh, done to repair much except one thing when I first bought the car it was still brand new um, the radiator actually went out uh, but it was replaced under warranty so we didn't have to pay for anything apart from that nothing has broken in this car of course the seat adjustments and all that um, falling off uh, not really a major issue but it could be quite annoying engine and transmission in this car I have no doubt that it's gonna last forever as long as you maintain the car on a regular basis by the way this car averages about 13 kilometers per liter driven in the city which is not that bad however if it came with a CVT transmission instead of the four-speed automatic transmission I think it would have saved fuel even more so thank you for watching if you are new to my channel please subscribe if you love reliable cars please subscribe you're gonna hear more reliable cars